In this mini lesson, we will review the four types of sentences, how to tell them apart, and how to punctuate them at the end of each. Before we start, let's sing our four types of sentences song to review our lesson. If you have not already written the lyrics to our song down in your notebook, pause the video and please do so now because the song lyrics are basically what you need to know about the four types of sentences. If not, just enjoy singing along. Here we go. Declarative makes a statement. Imperative a command. Exclamatory strong feeling wow. And interrogative as a question why, what, how. Notice how each line ends for declarative, a statement sentence. It ends with a period. There's Mr. Period waving at you. Imperative is a command sentence and it too ends with a period. So again, hello Mr. Period. You declare things, you command things. The period is the way to punctuate at the end. Now exclamatory sentences show strong feeling and end with an exclamation point. So hey, look, new guy, Mr. Exclamation Point. And then interrogative sentences ask questions and they end with question marks. So here's Mr. Question Mark dancing around and here he is doing his thing. Declarative sentences make statements. They use a period. This kid in book club may be making a statement. He is saying a declarative sentence. The monster in my book came to life. He is making a statement about the monster. Declarative, a sentence that makes a statement. It ends with a period. Imperative sentences make a command or request. They also use a period at the end of them. This guy here with his dog may be commanding his dog to sit. Sit, Rover. This is an imperative sentence. Sometimes the imperative requests may be happy like, brush your teeth or more harsh, and a command like this sentence, march like a man. Exclamatory sentences show strong feelings. They always use an exclamation mark at the end. This happy guy here may just want to show some strong feeling when he exclaims, I'm having such a great day. Notice the exclamation point at the end of the sentence. Ouch! Exclamation point, the dog bit me! Exclamation point again. His hair's on fire! Interrogative sentences ask a question. Do they use a question mark? I hope you're saying, yes! How do I figure this out? Is an interrogative sentence because it asks a question and ends with a question mark? Do you know all the question words? All the words that start interrogative sentences? Sometimes these question words help us think. They are what, where, when, why, which, who, whose, and how. These are the words that will begin interrogative sentences and should be punctuated with a question mark at the end. Now let's tackle our worksheet. There's a review in the top with the four kinds of sentences. Imperative gives a command, ends in a period, declarative makes a statement, ends in a period, period, interrogative asks a question, ends in a question mark, exclamatory expresses strong feeling, ends with an exclamation point. Directions, read each sentence and add the correct punctuation mark, then label it, imperative, declarative, interrogative, or exclamatory. Here's the example, you did a great job, or you did an excellent job. Notice the answer ends with a period that has been added and the word declarative has been written because we are making a statement. You did an excellent job. Now, could it have been an exclamatory sentence? Sure could, but then we would need to show an exclamation point. See, I added one there. So you're gonna notice that for a few, there could be more than one answer. You just need to make sure that the way you punctuate the end of the sentence matches the name of the kind of sentence that it is. 
Let's do the first four together. One, how was your day at school? We could think of the mother saying this to her children when they come home. How is a question word. So we know we need to end the sentence with a question mark. This is a question sentence, so we write interrogative in the blank. Two, do your assignments in class on time. We can imagine a teacher maybe saying this to a student. She's telling the student to do something. It's a command, a request. Do your assignments in class on time. This is an imperative sentence. So how do we punctuate the end of it? Yes, with a period. There he is. Three, I'm so excited I passed the test. Okay, the guy is excited. That shows strong feeling. That means exclamatory, and the sentence needs to end with an exclamation point. Four, walking up that mountain is dangerous. Okay, this one could be two different types of sentences depending on the context. If it is said as a statement, like the guy reading out of the book about a mountain, and he may say, walking up that mountain in this book is, a, is dangerous, he could be saying that as a fact from what he has learned. If that's the case, we would need a period and the sentence is declarative. But it could also be a mother warning their little kid or somebody who wants to walk up the mountain not to. She may warn him with strong feeling and say, walking up that mountain is dangerous, exclamation point. In that case, this sentence is exclamatory and would end in a exclamation point. That's right. Now I want you to do five through 12 on your own to practice identifying the four types of sentences and punctuating the ends of the sentences correctly, depending on what kind of sentence they are.